American Housewife. The show is all about keeping a positive body image, something that is sometimes hard to do, but so important, and that comes naturally to Katie. Our Leanne Aguilera found out Katie loves the skin she's in. And I'm going to be the second baddest housewife in Westport. You guys use the term fat on the show a lot, yeah. but it's, are you hoping to like maybe change the connotation of that word through the show? Well, I tell you, honey, it's not, um, it's not concentrated on. You know what I'm talking about? That's the premise, but she's self-deprecating. She's feeling like terrible about herself. And that's what uh, the struggle is, I think, is being, trying to be fearless and handle it. There's nothing wrong with you. You're beautiful and amazing. And came another woman around here fatter than me. Oh my God. The show is about a curvy mom who moves with her family to an upscale town filled with super skinny women. And the show originally was titled The Second Fattest Housewife yes. in Westport. Yes. Are you happy with the fact that they changed it to American Housewife? Sure. I, I love it in the sense of it, everybody can relate. Everybody deals, men, women, kids, everybody deals with insecurities. That's humanity. For six seasons on Mike and Molly, Katie played Melissa McCarthy's sister. I don't know what I would have done without you. Probably still be at that hair salon throwing crumbs at that beautician. <laughs> I ended Mike and Molly. We wrapped. It was on the, I think, January 29th, and I walked in uh, February 4th into that room of American Housewife. It's just the biggest gift in the world. I could not be more grateful. You feel different. Mm. Different how? Like a brand new bag of flour. It's my Spanx. Like many, the 35-year-old has been a variety of different dress sizes, but whatever her weight, she's okay with it. Did you ever feel pressure in Hollywood because you're a woman that you needed to be skinny? No matter what size I am, I've got, been bigger and been smaller, um, but it's just been, I, that's never, I've never had a problem with that, basically. So I've never let the media dictate my identity, ever.